It's abstract and it's motherfucker. You feel me? Split bread last week, about 10 grand. These niggas be saying they boss him, and I don't understand how you touching bands and your fan broke. Man, you niggas jokes, I don't get it. What you hustle for? Do this for my block, for my fam, for my real niggas. Do this for the. Hi, this is Tyler Kimani from Irrigation Media. I'm here with Abstract 9008. Yeah, what's the deal? 9008. <laughs> <laughs> like the zip code, you feel me? Yeah, so um, this is the rap duo. They're representing Crenshaw yeah. District, area 9008. You know, this is for itself. <laughs> um, we're gonna get into this interview. So, why is the name Abstract 9008? I kind of know 9008. Abstract came first. So, pretty much, we were uh, like, I think like 14 or 15, and we were just going by the name T and Frank. I'm T as Frank. And uh, we just got bored because everybody was calling us. Like, it was, we got boring, T and Frank. You feel me? So, we was thinking, like, we'll make what's art that's like can't be duplicated. Like art that's different from everybody else. So I just kept looking at it, looking at it, and every time I looked it up, it was abstract. So we just ran with abstract. 9008 came just because you feel me? I zip code. I felt like we need to put some put the city on behind something, you know? Okay. I feel it. Um what what do you feel like your area nine thousand eight or like this area has influenced you or like helped, you know, become the person you guys are today, the people you guys are today? Man, really it influenced everything. Like the music all the culture in our area just show us how we can do this, you know what I mean? How we can take this to another level, but still keep it grounded and stay humble, you know? And just uh, showing everybody where we're from at the same time. And the sound, the, and sound, the sound is so jazzy. Like, walking around is just, it feels soulful and jazzy like, over yeah. here. So it kind of influences the sound, you know what I mean? Okay. It's all in you, like, at all times. Yeah. I feel it. So when did you guys come together as a group? Because I know you produce and you rap, and then you rap, and what else? I'm producing love. Okay, yeah, okay. So we both doing both. Okay, so when did you guys decide to come together and form Abstract? It was actually down the street from here. Okay. <laughs> you feel me? Like, for real. It was up the street. We were smoking and I started rapping. And I was just like, I've been wanting to rap for a minute, but I didn't tell the homies yet. And then eventually I started rapping for the homies out of nowhere. And then this nigga was like, You rap? I want to rap too. So right. after the homies left, me and him chopped it up and was like, Let's start this shit. And I was like, My pop got a studio. Kind of just came okay, okay. Um, so how do you guys stay focused and you know not get caught up in the distractions that are around you? Because this is a beautiful area, but it also yeah. has this, you know, flaws. Yeah. So how do you guys stay focused on your music, your clothing line, and everything else? Just remember what we're doing every day, every time. Yeah. Going, what we're doing. Mindset, the, like having the mindset of wanting to be rich. Okay. Right. Like when you wake up and you're in a current situation and every day it's the same situation, it kind of motivates you to stop the bullshit. Like, you feel me? Like, motivates you to get out of the situation. Okay. You feel me? Okay. So that kind of keeps me, like, up with strict, I would say. You know okay. what I mean? Absolutely. Do you guys feel like you guys have, like, a, not like an upper, like upper, what am I trying to say? Not an upper leg, but, like, an upper leg to the competition because you guys, you know, you have your bag. And then I see you work with, you guys work with Keep Fly and everything. Yeah. You guys aren't coming in timid. Yeah, yeah. So do you guys feel like you guys, are, you know. Have like an advantage? Yeah, yeah. Advantage, that's what I'm trying to say. Advantage. You guys yeah. see things in here? A little bit. It's a little, it, yeah. We kind of have an advantage over a lot of niggas only because, like you said, we have a lot of connections. Like mm -hmm. before I started rapping, I knew a lot of motherfuckers who was in the industry. So when I decided to do it, there's a lot of people just back at me automatically. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's an advantage. It's a blessing. You know what I mean? We didn't have to start from ground zero and get every connection from, you feel me, from the uh, start. It was like kind of warm the connections. Yeah, you guys already had it in the right. palm of your hand. It was like, it's like it was written. Right. I feel it. You guys also have the clothing line now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, talk sure. about this. You guys sure. have sweatshirts. What else y'all got? We got track pants, sweatshirts. We got we women's got leggings. leggings now. We have shorts. We got like the half shirts for the, the females, crop tops. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, yeah. We, we're trying to do, uh, basically just put on for the district. Okay. Influences behind Nipsey and the Crenshaw shit. Okay, you know what I mean? It's a lot of people. So then you got like a little weed. Mm. It happens, it happens when you roll up. Okay. <laughs> That's what's up. Do you guys feel like um, Nipsey kind of set a tone for you guys this year? Set the bar for y'all to go a little bit harder? Not harder. I feel like he's, the way Nipsey do it, like I look at I look at people and figure out how I'm going to do it differently. Right. You know what I mean? Like Nipsey branded Crenshaw, so that's why I did 9008 because okay. I wanted to be more than just 
Crenshaw. You know what I mean? Like yeah. 9,008 is this, and then it's Baldwin Hills. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So I wanted to kind of do it a little bigger. You okay. did open the lane. Yeah. So like for sure. You got one? Oh, <laughs> my God. My nigga. <laughs> so you, Frank, you tweeted yeah. something about manifesting dreams. Um, right. What do you feel like you are, you know, as a group, you guys have manifested this year that has came, you know, into um, Really, all, all of our work that we put out, um, all of the work that we haven't put out, our studio, like everything that we had said before while we were just in the house thinking we were going to do this. It's just, it came to fruition, you know what I mean? That's why I tweeted that, like, don't just chase it. Like, chasing is just sitting there like, oh, I'm about to do that. Yeah, let's let's do that, let's do that. Nah, like, go do it, you know what I mean? That's yeah. what we did. We got the bread, we got the studio, we got the music cracking off. And that was just because we wanted it that bad, so. so. Like, that's how it is. You want to manage your dream. Is it dope having your own studio? Because I know artists are like, oh, I have to get time. Yeah, it's dope and annoying as fuck. <laughs> I be like, it's dope because I could wake up and just do my music. But for money, I have to do other niggas shit. Like, I, I engineer it, you know what I mean? So I like, I be having these whack ass niggas in my studio that I have to engineer. Shout out to the little homies. Some of y'all little homies, it's hard, but a lot of y'all niggas is weak. You feel what I'm saying? But I be, uh... <laughs> they could get better. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas just do that shit because they homies do it. You know what I mean? That's true. There's no, there's no respect for the art. So I just, I noticed that type of shit, and I noticed how to, Apply that to myself in a way where I don't look like that. You know, I don't. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Abstract. Right. right. I feel it. I feel it. Exactly. So this is Abstract 9008, y'all. They represent the area 9008. They come in with you guys hard. I'm sure you guys gonna be manifesting some more stuff oh, coming up sure. this year. What else y'all got for us this year? I know y'all just dropped Road Up on 420. Yeah. You guys got a song with T5. Yeah. What else is coming out for us? Uh, next week or we have a song. I'll let them have it. Drop that song. Okay. Drop it. It's abstract and this motherfucker man down, man down, won't they steady tryna worry about everything that I do on the low I'm all about these money, these riches, I'm all about my business Could bet that I'll never go broke Get your cash up, baby girl, get your cash up Hustle on, get your back up, hustle on